Welcome back folks, this is Joey with Steel Blade Woodworks and today we're going to continue on with the Longer Ray 5 10 watt laser accessory package that Longer sent along. So follow along as I show you how to install these accessories on your laser. Alright, in this section we're going to bring you along and just show you the honeycomb and how it's set up. There's nothing really to this. It comes with these little corners. You don't have to leave these on, but it kind of keeps this plate here below attached. And what you see here is a protective plate, which when the laser is firing through this honeycomb, this will stop it from hitting your spoil board or whatever you choose to put this on. So this is very important. This may come with a layer of something on it, like a plastic. You'll probably need to pull that off so that you don't burn that and get those bad smells and it's probably not good for you to be breathing that in. So this basically goes underneath this honeycomb and this honeycomb here as you can see has all your detents for your measurements. Really nice, constructed, it's sturdy. It's pretty straightforward to install. It's going to come together out of the box. We can just slide this in here like so and we put this on there. I chose to leave these little plastic caps on one. Some of these edges are sharp and this just allows you to slide it around on your, your top. You can choose to take those off. But that's how it is, like so. Go ahead and get this laser here and we can bring it in, set it. So if you set your waste board up, you can basically set a, a grid pattern, burn a grid pattern into your waste board, which this will allow you to align this to that grid pattern. Use the outer perimeter to align it. Then you know that this honeycomb will be completely square to the laser head. So just a little tip there. Uh, we're just going to use this for today's demonstration. So that is basically it for the honeycomb. Not a whole lot to it. There's uh, many different ways you can set it up. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on next to the air assist. So let's go. All right, folks, so on this section, we're going to install the laser assist that Longer sent out. And just to name a few products here that we had that came with this kit is you have the actual pump. Along with the kit came the hose, some tie wraps, shut off valve. Then you're gonna have the connector that goes into the actual air assist. A wrench provided to tighten that up. This nozzle connector, this is where your tube will go in and connect to provide the air assist. And it also takes a little silicone ring that goes on here. And we will show that here in a little bit as we go ahead and install this. Now, there is some items that need to be taken off the laser head. It's not hard, very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and move to that part and show y'all what's done there so that we can get this nozzle installed. So as you can see here, we've got the laser turned up, but what you need to do here is take these two thumb screws off of your acrylic piece. Be careful, do not break this. And these two thumb screws will come off remove this and you're going to take an allen wrench that was provided with the kit when you first assembled the laser and it's the smallest allen key in the kit there is two screws on either side of this cone that you're going to take off and get those removed now the cone will not be needed after you install the nozzle so this will be moved out of the way and put away for future and go ahead and remove the cone now these probably would get lost my suggestion to you is to go ahead and get these and put these back on here's a good opportunity now if you've been using this to go ahead and clean your lens off on here, you're just gonna take this little bush um, O-ring, it's silicone O-ring that goes on here, like so. 
and this simply just screws on like this now keep in mind this doesn't have to be super tight but know that down here you still got to use the focus rod so you don't want this like this because the airline's going to be coming in here so i would suggest just kind of putting it this way but also keep in mind that this has to go in like so taking all those into consideration just aim this properly i would say come out to the side here like so there we go now that portion is done all right let's talk about the air pump here getting it set up and this is pretty straightforward here only thing we need to do here is go ahead and install this fitting in here and you're just going to screw it on like so use the provided little wrench and it doesn't take much like so and that's pretty much all you need but let's see how loud this is let's do a little test and see how loud so as you can see it's not very loud hopefully this noise is transferring through the mics well enough it doesn't it, it's got a little vibration to it but that's why the dampers are softening that it's really not emitting through the top of this desk at all only when you put your hand on it so not bad let's go ahead and get the airline set up and installed on the laser head and route it through here how we need to do it so first things first i would go ahead and get in here and slip this hose on it's fairly easy like so let's go ahead now's the time to go ahead and put your acrylic cover back on and let's see how that's going to fit in here hopefully not causing any kinks okay now that we got that on there just keep in mind that you probably need to make sure that you keep proper length in here and also make sure that you leave enough for the laser to go up and down as you have to focus adjust it so i think we're good there we we'll use the provided tie wraps and go ahead and don't tighten these too much because you will kink the air supply hose now that is pretty much where we need to be now we'll probably need to set this up somewhere have this valve let's just cut a little piece try to keep these cut pretty straight like so and these are quick connects when you push in it releases just push these in and they hold in pretty good we'll come in on this end going to the laser head push in as well go ahead and just come in here and in, and slip this line over there we'll open the valve and let's test and see how good the airflow is coming out of the nozzle now and there is an abundance amount of air this is going to improve the cutting capability of this machine all right i got a little test piece here in light burn we're going to just do a simple little circle cut this is without air we're going to see what it looks like and then we'll turn the air assist on these are at a speed of 3000 millimeters per minute and 80 percent power on the diode Okay, that is too fast, so let's slow it down. Let's go to 500. Let's see if we got through on that. Almost made it through. So let's go ahead and let's leave it at 450 and pick to back to 90% power. and it made it through just a little bit hanging on i believe if we probably back that speed down and leave it at 90 and go to 400 and here's the current one 
and that went through. There is a little bit of scorching. So let's go ahead and turn the air assist on. And we're going to run the same file again. No scorching. Absolutely beautiful cut. Actually, I test this stuff usually by if it makes any, if it leaves any black soot which it's not barely any so that's good air assist really helps this out it takes that scorching away that soot to come up from the top and helps it cut a lot better so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next section and we're going to go ahead and get the rotary set in there's going to be some modifications that have to be done but we'll get to that in the next step all right folks in this section here we're going to show you how the rotary tool works now this rotary tool has adjustments here so depending on the size of tumbler this has to be adjusted accordingly so it holds it correctly and it takes a cord here that acts as your y-axis so you'll unplug this cord here and wire it to this so as you can see when the rotary's in here there's not enough height especially if we put a tumbler on it so what do we do? We gotta lift the machine up. Now you can do it many different ways. You can actually put some pieces of wood or something, just anything to elevate it to get you enough clearance to be able to do this. But I jumped in my 3D design software and I made me a lift kit. So we're gonna get this installed. This will go on each leg section and we'll lift the machine up. Did I have to do this? No, but I thought it'd be cool. So we're gonna get this installed. All right, folks, as you can see, we went ahead and installed the riser legs that I made with my 3D printer. Laser is set up. We went ahead and focused the laser head to the rotary tool. Everything is square and we're ready to go. The next thing you need to do, make sure the laser is turned off before you do this step. There's two cords, one, has the white ends, the connector. This is the cord that you want to use. The one with the black connectors will not be used. So make sure you get the correct one and you simply just disconnect the Y motor here and then this will be connected to your strap. So you'll plug one end into the rotary and the other end will go connected right here like so now we'll turn on the laser connect everything and we'll switch over to light burn and i'll show you the steps you need to take to get light burn to talk to the laser and the rotary tool so in this section here we're going to have to come into light burn and actually do some setting changes for the rotary tool. So what we need to do first is we need to come up here to edit, go into machine settings, and then right here on the output setup, we need to toggle it down. And we need to scroll down till we find Y steps per minute here. And this value needs to get changed to 56. Zero, just like longer states in their instructions. You hit okay, hit yes, and it'll load the setting. And we're almost there, halfway done. Okay, next we're gonna go into laser tools. We're gonna go to rotary setup. And this will bring up this portion here. And you need to enable this rotary which will now allow you to change this setting here on the y-axis per instructions on the longer sheet that comes with your rotary this should go to 56.52 so we're going to go 56.52 and also what you want to do is go ahead and mirror this, turn this, toggle this on so it gets your letter orientation correct. Hit OK. 
and that should send the settings now remember to make sure that your laser is on while you're doing this we're going to go back into tools go to rotary setup and let's hit test and we should see some action happening on the rotary and there you go as you saw it is working it is responding to the commands now here in these settings in the object diameter and circumference you need to measure your tumbler or whatever round material you're using and put those proper measurements in here so that when you do run a file the rotary knows those settings all right folks we got everything kind of lined out uh, this is a fairly new operation for me so we did a test burn as you can see in the previous step on some tape just to make sure we had our settings tweaked we're going to come in here now and we're going to leave the speeds at the same but let's do 80 that should burn through it at 4000 we're going to do a little frame test here and that should be good uh, for our first run as you can see we're just going to do the company name longer let's give it a go and see what it's going to do we're going to hit start we're going to hit yes and we're going to let this burn and see what it does we'll come back here in a little bit and get the finish tumbler off of here and see what it does clean her up and see how good it does well folks tumbler done it came out very very nice uh, this setting was at 4,000 millimeters per minute at 80% power it burnt right through it with no problem I need to clean it a little more but I'm very happy how it came out super simple to set up if laser engraving laser cutting is something that you're not sure of and you want to step in or you want a portable machine this longer ray 5 10 watt laser packs a punch you know i want to thank longer for giving me this opportunity to test this machine to put it together try it out and it has been very impressive i hope you enjoyed these videos if you did please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you'll know the next time we come out with an amazing tool like this. Catch you on the next one. Bye now.